Y'all, it is cold this morning, like, like really, like I had to bust out the thick, heavy, like, Chicot this morning, okay? I think I will be having oatmeal and coffee this morning because it feel like winter in California. Whole house is freezing, okay? So I'm about to warm it up, have me a little oatmeal and get my day started. And I said I was gonna go for a walk today too. Okay, your girl really wants to go for a walk outside, but mm, that might not be happening <laughs> today because it's just cold. Forced myself to get up, throw on some little workout clothes, because even though it was freezing when I woke up and it's still cold right now, it is 50, 55 degrees according to my car, <laughs> uh, your girl has to push herself. So since I know that I really want to go for a walk today, and if I don't go for this walk, I probably might not. <clears throat> do any form of exercise today i'm forcing myself to go for this walk so right now i'm driving to this nice little park um not too far from my house that has like a walking path on it i have another walking path that's actually really close to my house that i could go to but i don't feel like doing that one today um so yeah that's where i'm headed to now i'll probably be there in about 10 minutes but yeah, I just uh, don't want to go straight. No, I don't. I just said, you know what? Just get up and go because, you know, when it's cold, unless it's raining, snowing, sleeting, and hailing, you can walk in the cold. You got a jacket, you got a sweater, get your butt up and go. So yeah, I'm on my way. My lips are so dry. I don't know how I forgot to put anything on my lips this morning and I was digging through my purse and I emptied a lot of stuff out my purse. I'm like, I didn't leave not one lip gloss, chapstick, lip balm, whatever in my purse. That's crazy. I always have like at least three or four of them in there. So I must have really been cleaning it out. So anywho, yeah. Um, hopefully this is a nice, enjoyable walk. <coughs> <coughs> so... I'll see y'all when I get out there and start walking because I just want to go ahead and listen to some music, vibe out while I'm on my way.
nice little um, two mile walk. I went around the park twice. And so now I am nowhere near cold. <laughs> but yeah, that was a nice little walk. Nice little, nice little um, morning exercise. It is about 10 o'clock. <coughs> so I was walking for about an hour. A little bit slower than I normally do. Um, because when I'm really, you know, working out and walking on a regular basis, I usually could do like a 20, 25 minute mile. So that was probably about a 28 to 30 minute mile because it's not quite 10. So let's just say about 28 mile. So as I increase my stamina and get back in shape, I'll be able to get back to like a 22, 25 minute mile which I like. It's a nice pace, it ain't nothing crazy, and it's effective for me when I'm walking, so. That was good, that was nice. I guess if I'm gonna start doing that, I'm gonna have to keep gas in my car. Y'all, I don't really go nowhere. I don't really be driving like that, so I don't really be thinking about gassing up. So probably tomorrow I'll probably gas up because tomorrow I'm supposed to spend the day with my daughter. It's her birthday. Dang, how old is Brianna? Child. Brianna gonna be 28, I think. Lord have mercy. Oof. Lord. <laughs> the aging. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the day with Brianna tomorrow. We'll probably do some shopping and some eating and all that good stuff. We'll see how I do with my diet tomorrow, cause okay. But it's funny once you start eating healthy and working out and stuff. After a while, like I don't even have a taste or a desire for any fast food for sure. If anything, I might have a craving for like some seafood or something. But. <coughs> I don't even have a desire for anything sweet and I have a horrible sweet tooth like for real for real maybe that oatmeal has been kind of like craving that little desire because child that oatmeal has been so good to me the brown sugar cinnamon I add just a little bit of no calorie sweetener a dab of butter um, and some extra cinnamon in that mug stir it up child it has been so good so maybe that has been curbing my little sweet tooth because I've been doing all right. So, yep, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, you guys remember when I was eating my salad and I said I needed to order me some cute little bowls from Amazon and they finally came in. So I'm going to open them when I get home. I'll show you which ones I got. I got like two different styles. One of them is really cute, kind of wide and not so deep. And then the other one is a little bit deeper, so a little bit deeper <laughs> so yeah um i'll show y'all those when i get home okay you guys so um this is one of the amazon boxes for um the let's out of the way the bowls that i ordered <laughs> Cause I wanted some just kind of like nicer bowls to uh, eat my salad and stuff. You know, it's kind of like when you are, you know, like how they say if you want to get back into working out and stuff, you know, go buy yourself some new workout clothes. Go buy yourself a new, um, some new workout sneaks or whatever, you know. Just something to kind of get you excited about actually doing it. And <clears throat> so it's like I kind of see this kind of like that, even though it's not the same. But, you know, it's like, child, if I'm going to be eating salad every day, I want to at least, <laughs> <coughs> at least eat it in style, right? So hopefully um, none of these are broken. And they in here tight. I can't even get them out. Hold on. Let me, okay. But yeah, hopefully none of these are broken. So, these are the deeper bowls. And 
I mean, it does. For me, at least, it makes me a little bit more excited. You know, like, oh, when I eat my salad, now I have a cute little bowl to put it in, you know? So I just got black. <laughs> and so these are the bowls. They're kind of like oval shaped. And they are nice and deep, as you can see here. It's kind of shaped like a, you know, like a boat. But I really, really like these. I think these are going to be so cute for me to eat my salad or um you know even if i do have like some little noodles or something like that but so this is what these look like very simple nothing super fancy or whatever i will list them down in the description box just in case you you know just in case you like them and you want to get some but i'm glad none of them came broken so i got a set of four and then the other ones that I got, I actually like these even better. These really kind of put me in the mood of like, you know, some like Asian noodles or something like that. But you can definitely use this for salad as well, because even though it's a bowl, it's kind of like a plate type bowl. It has enough depth for a salad or some noodles, but it's wider, you know, so you can kind of use it more like a plate if you want a plate with the edge <laughs> so i love these bowls okay i really really like these these are like my favorite okay so those are my new bowls y'all so look you guys do you see how much more cute and appealing my barbecue ranch chopped salad looks in my new little bowl isn't she cute? And she looks delicious, doesn't she? Got my little grapes on the side and everything. Okay, wait, wait, get, get, get. Okay. <laughs> Got my little grapes and my little chopped salad. But yeah, isn't it cute? Okay. See, I told you. This salad is so good, you guys. So good. So it's Saturday. I'm sitting here in my living room on my couch eating my little lunch. I'm just kind of chilling today. I'm supposed to be out and about shopping and hanging out and eating stuff I ain't supposed to eat with my baby girl because today's her birthday. But she had some other things she had to take care of today. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood, right? <laughs> I was like, girl, you got responsibilities? <laughs> <coughs> She's like, yeah, mom, I got responsibilities today. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we'll do it tomorrow. So we switched it to tomorrow. So, and it's like really windy outside right now. So I'm kind of low key glad I don't have to go out and drive in this wind. I don't like driving when it's windy. I can feel it. Some people just be whipping by in their cars when it's windy. Mm -mm. Or I can feel it. I'd be like, mm -mm, you're about to blow me over. So, I guess I'm just going to be chilling today. Maybe I'll do some online shopping. When I tell y'all I'm on a no buy when it comes to makeup, I'm on a no buy when it comes to makeup. Because it's like, First of all, I'm not even following like all the makeup, you know, I try to stay off of Instagram as much as possible right now because that's why I shop because of Instagram and because of my emails. That's why I shop. All I have to do is go on Instagram. I could be on there for not even five minutes and boom, there's something on there something being shown something popping up it's like oh my gosh that's so pretty what is it da, 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 da. you know so in order to keep myself in check on this no buy for makeup i don't even be just scrolling on instagram and plus i notice i could if i start watching especially reels i could be sitting there on instagram reels for hours just looking at videos it's it's crazy so i try to stay off of there now because child it's too much it's, i don't want to spend my whole day on instagram so it's really helping me with my no buy too because if i don't know what's available i can't buy it right 
And you know, with my emails, I just go through, go through, just ignore, delete, ignore, delete. <clears throat> Cause yeah, when it comes to makeup, if you guys are familiar with my channel, <coughs> not just through vlogs, but me being a beauty channel, you know, child, I look at my makeup, anything that comes out, it's like, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. No. So I'm doing pretty good. I don't even have any desire to buy any makeup right now. Zero. I got some stuff in my BoxyCharm which I'm about to cancel because I already canceled my um, Lux box and my base box, but I'm about to cancel everything. I think right now I just get the premium or something because it's like, I don't need any more skincare. I have so much skincare, I don't know what to do. The makeup that they send me, you know, I don't need another burgundy or nude lip liner. Um, I don't need any more eye patches. I don't need another dusty palette. No, I have very nice, good quality palettes. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm about to cancel Boxy. And, yeah. It's like something would have to be absolutely amazing for me to buy it, makeup-wise, at this point. The last thing I think that I actually purchased, it was definitely last year because y'all know I got sick, went on vacation, so I haven't even been shopping. But um, I did get a few things from Sephora last year. I think I bought the little um, kit of Fenty. It's like a body scrub and a moisturizer. It's just like a little uh, trial size, I think. I got that. Um, I bought some Zoeva uh, foundation that I want to try out. Although I'm really trying to just like clear up my skin so, you know, I can really minimize my foundation use at this point. But so I've purchased a few things prior to the new year, but since the new year, honey, I ain't purchased nothing and I don't want to. And it's not because I don't love makeup. I still love makeup. I still go in my room and drool and stuff, but... For whatever reason, whatever season I'm going through right now in my life, I just don't really feel like putting it on. But yeah, don't get it twisted. I still love makeup and I will come back to it. I know I will. That's why I'm not trying to get rid of all my stuff and just like, oh my gosh. No, that chapter of my life is not over yet, honey, because I still drool over all my makeup. But I don't need to buy no more at all. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my little lunch. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll find me something good to watch today since I'm just chilling. I mean, I do kind of want to go out. I really do. But if I do, I'm gonna have to stay local, honey, because I am not driving in this wind. I'm not bringing these crazy people on the road. So, if I do anything, I will check in with y'all later, okay? So I decided to do like a impromptu declutter. Um, I've been watching so many people declutter. Everybody is decluttering on YouTube. And I haven't really felt pressed to declutter because, you know, I just have it. <laughs> so <coughs> I decided, excuse me, y'all know I'm still coughing. But I decided to go ahead and just do a quick little declutter. Not making a separate video for it because, honey, I'm just going to run through this stuff right quick i already went through my drawers pulled all the stuff out that i don't want and just thought i would go ahead and you know share with you guys what i'm decluttering from my collection it's basically just like primers and serums and then i also pulled concealers because i have a lot of concealers that are either too light or too dark and it's like what am i keeping them for because i'm not going to use them so with my primers i pulled like these for Solly. um primers that I got like in BoxyCharm. These things are so old. I never reach for them. I feel like, um, you know, they're just sitting in a drawer for no reason. So this one is the Skin Tune. Get rid of that. Um, what else do I have? I have here from Sand and Sky. They sent me this Australian Emu Apple Glow Drops. This is actually a serum. 
I tried it. As you can see, I tried it uh, for a little while. I don't know. It's just not my thing. The serum with, it just feels like water and oil to me. Something about that I just can't get with. So getting rid of that. This Wet n Wild Primer Serum. It's actually nothing wrong with this. It actually has like a little bit of glow in there. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's pretty old. I don't really reach for this. You know, it's one of those products where I feel like mm, it's probably not doing nothing. So I'm going to get rid of that. This uh, Soft Focus Glow Drops from, uh, is it Rodile? Rodile? Ro Y'all know. Ro Rodile. Um, I got my Boxy Charm. These are illuminating drops. There's actually nothing wrong with these, but I realized that I don't want a whole bunch of illuminating primers and serums and stuff because I really, it's, I probably reach for this maybe once or twice a year just because it's in my drawer, so getting rid of that this is another um illuminating serum from caprice got this in my boxy charm i'm sure getting rid of that this is a illuminating or luminizing primer pores no more from dr brandt i really like dr brandt products but once again illuminizing i don't need it i feel like if i want to illuminize my face prior to putting on my base i'll just put on one of my like you know liquid um like what do you call it highlighters i have some like liquid highlighters somewhere in here that i would most likely use um you know a little bit on my skin prior to using all these illuminated uh primers and serums and stuff like this uh like iconic london i hold on to this just because you know if i want a little little bit of extra illumination i'll use that um what else do i have you know this cover effects little illuminator i can use that but stuff like that and then i did actually keep one illuminizing um primer or serum where is it because i actually really really like this one this one is the vdl luma layer primer fresh Ooh, I like this, like it a lot. So if I do just want to use an illuminate, illuminating primer, I'll pull this. So all these other ones, I don't need. So they're going bye-bye. So this one here, uh, Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. This one is going as well. Although Becca does have some really nice primers, I just don't need the illuminating and brightening ones this one is becca backlight <clears throat> primer filler <coughs> um hmm. oh damn this one ain't even open i thought i used this let me put this to the side because this one is a maybe that one i at least want to try out um some other primers this nyx the marshmallow primer i heard so many people raving about this stuff and i used it and i was like uh what is the hype about <laughs> so anyway uh didn't float my boat so that can go this covergirl true blend face primer for oily skin i can get rid of this i don't know what it is i just i have primers that i really really love so all of these drugstore primers that just seem to me to be like mild moisturizers i don't want them anymore photo focus face primer from uh wet and wild another one don't ask me why i got two of these both of those can go this rimmel stay matte mattifying makeup primer i just got this not too long ago because i believe andrea renee was using this and she was like it's really really good um i guess maybe for drugstore but <laughs> It just feels like a light moisturizer to me. And I'm like, I don't need that. This e.l.f. Blurring Primer Serum. This is not something that I'm getting rid of because I don't like it. I actually love this stuff, but I have a brand new one. So I'm going to get rid of this because it's almost empty. And it's kind of hard to get it out when it's almost empty with this little, um, you know, dropper thing. It doesn't really come out. So, honey, nobody got time on that one. I got a whole new one. So that's going in the trash. Um, this is some, just some other stuff, old stuff that I got from subscription boxes a long time ago. This is actually whipped argan oil from Josie Marin. And it was actually a really nice creamy argan oil, but it's old. It's old and crusty, so that's gotta go. 
this oil of Olay Regenerus with sunscreen. It's very, very thick. So um, not only that, it's super old. So this needs to go because it's very old, very thick, and I don't even use it. This primer I got from Nika K, this 24 karat gold, you know, it's I've only used it a couple of times. It's another one of those products where I feel like it's not doing anything. It's just, I'm just putting extra stuff on my skin. So it says it hydrates, which it does. Um, I don't know. It's like, um, it doesn't, it kind of looks like it would be like that NYX one, the honeydew one. But it's not, it's not sticky, it's not tacky, it's just like a serum, you know? And I don't need it. Let me stop thinking about it. I don't need it. This fourth ray watermelon face milk. Um, these things are weird to me. They're just, I don't know, like face milk. Um, I don't like these big fat droppers. I really don't. They're just, I don't like them. Um, but this, once again, it's another one of those i don't know i think this is one where you're supposed to like press it into your skin or something honey but yeah i just i don't know because i haven't had this that long that let me just put that over there but that's one that's probably gonna go to because it's like i mean it feels nice and that's a maybe this Elf Jelly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer. Okay, don't get this twisted and mixed up with the primer, honey. I love the primer. Where's the primer? This Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Chow. I love this stuff, okay? Love it, love it, love it. This, the Water Gel Moisturizer, I'm like, mm -mm, they could have kept this. I don't like it. It's weird. It feels weird on my face. As you can see, I have a whole thing here. I don't like it, so it's got to go. This No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul. As you can see, it's almost empty. I've had it for a while. I did purchase a new one, so I do have a new fresh one. So I'm not getting rid of this because I don't love it. I'm getting rid of this because it's old and I have a new one. So that's pretty much the serums and primers and stuff that I decided to toss you guys. Now, for concealers... I don't have a lot of concealers that I'm getting rid of just because, you know, because they're bad. Like this NYX Born to Glow. I actually love NYX Born to Glow concealers, but this shade is too light for me. What is this? This is Warm Honey. I have one that's a little, di little bit darker than this that works perfect. But this Warm Honey is a little too light. This ColourPop um, Deep Golden. I have some more of these. <clears throat> I actually need to start using them because I have too many of them. This one is old, so I'm getting rid of that because it's old. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to put this over here with the trash pile. Is there anything in here that my daughter might want? Mm, I doubt it. So, yeah, I doubt it. So, I'm going to put the concealers over here that... Because for the most part, these are not um, super old or anything. They're just too light this essence camouflage this is the one that i use all the time for under my eyes and around my mouth this one is dark caramel though i don't know why i grabbed this lighter shade maybe to try it out just to see if it would work like under my eyes or something but this one um you know what that one actually might be eh, that might be okay I was thinking that one was too, too light. Mm, that might be okay. I'm put that over here in the maybe pile. This um, Maybelline Superstay, Caramel 40, definitely too light. Can't do it. This um, CoverGirl True Blend, what shade is this? Warm Honey, definitely too light. Can't do it. This um, Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. I tried to force myself to like this because everybody and their mama likes this stuff. I do not like this stuff. <laughs> so I got to get rid of it. Honey. I don't like it. Um, What is this? Revlon Color Stay. This color is just really, really weird. Deep. Uh, This one is, yeah, in the shade Deep. Yeah, it's too light for me. This one, Catrice Liquid Camouflage. What shade is this? Maybe it rubbed off. I don't know. But anyways, it's too light. 
this Wet n Wild. I use this um, same concealer to clean up my brows, but I use a darker shade. This one is too light. This one is medium deep. Um, the reason why I'm putting these um, concealers over here is because my daughter is lighter than me. She's like maybe two shades lighter than me. So stuff that I can't wear, she can. This one here, which is the Milani Retouch. I never really liked the Milani Retouch in Erase. This one is Deep Honey. And I feel like I've had this for a while, so that's going in the trash. Um, this Clean Fresh from CoverGirl. I don't know. This is just, it's weird. It's like, it looks, you see what it looks like when it's not shaking up? And it's very, very thin. It's just, this is not, mm -mm. I'm going to put this in the trash. <clears throat> this collab concealer. Um, what shade is this? This is very, very light. Caramel. Tawny. So, yeah, very light. My daughter might be able to use that. So, I'll see if she wants it. <laughs> Child, this is for like a whole nother race. I must have ordered this online because I definitely did not order this in store or buy this in store. This one is Honey 30. Super duper light. I don't even think my daughter could pull this off. Mm -mm, this is, child, look at that. <laughs> no, ma'am, it's going in the trash. And then this one here, Maybelline Fit Me. This is number 40 caramel as well. Let's see here. Yeah, it's just too light, too pasty. Um, Yeah, my daughter, she can't use that. So these are some that I felt like are, I don't know, this e.l.f. This is one of their mix and match adjusters. Don't ask me why I bought this because I don't be mixing and matching and adjusting my foundation. Like, ciao. And then this shade actually is more like my actual color, you know, that I would just wear. But this stuff is kind of watery. So, yeah, I don't really, I don't know what to do with it. So it's going in the trash. This Super Stay, another one. <laughs> I must have ordered that online with the Super Light Bright one. This one is too dark for me to use as a concealer. And it's not dark enough for me to use. I don't know if you can see this right there. It's not dark enough for me to use like as a bronzer or a contour or anything. So unless I'm going to put this all over my face and use it as a foundation, which I'm not... I don't know what to do with that. So I'll see if my daughter wants to use it as a bronzer because she could probably use it as a bronzer. This is Dose of Colors. So I'm sure I got this in a boxy charm. What shade is this? Number 28 Deep. And I think once again, this one is dark enough, you know, kind of like to blend in with my skin tone, but just slightly too dark. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, um... Not dark enough for me to use. And it's a nice consistency too. So I hate that it's so dark. But it's not dark enough for me to use as a bronzer or um, contour or anything. So I'll see if she wants that. This L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, what is this? Shade, shade. 420 Cocoa. Uh, let me look at this because I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, yeah, it's like closer to my skin tone, but it's kind of off, you know, it's right here. Yeah, it's kind of off. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't reach for that for any, any reason. Trash. It's kind of old too. And then this, um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I think I ordered this online or something when it was on sale or got it in a boxy and wanted it you know as a regular concealer but obviously it's too dark for me to use as a brightener i can use it you know as a concealer like under my foundation and stuff mm, i don't know i might try it should i try it i might try it so i might keep this one i don't know how old it is but i might keep that one but all of these i'm just gonna see if my daughter wants them and if not, they can get tossed money. So, okay. So I started to declutter some stuff. I feel good. Yeah, I did something. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I did a little bit of something.
So this is all the stuff that is going by by today. Okay? So that's it, y'all. Talk to y'all later. So you guys, I decided I wanted to, you know, make my own little Chipotle bowl tonight. For some reason, I've just been like, I don't know what I want to eat. I've been doing so good. I had oatmeal this morning. I had some, you know, my salad for lunch. So I said, you know, let me go ahead and try and make my own little Chipotle bowl. So right now I'm just warming up my corn. I already um, just kind of nuked, you know, some black beans. Just put them in one of my little bowls and put it in the microwave. And then over here, um, I took out my lettuce. I already have here some tomatoes. It's like tomatoes with chilies. I took it out of the can and just put that in a bowl. I have my shredded cheese, so my lettuce, light sour cream, and then I nuked me one of my pieces of baked chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop that up. So, oh, and then also I have my, excuse my little ratchet napkin, but I have my rice going in the rice cooker, so by the time that's done, everything else should be done, and I can go ahead and compile my little bowl. So I'll show you guys um, how everything comes out. Hopefully it tastes good. I don't have any of the like sauteed veggies. I have to remember to get that next time to add, but I got most of the stuff I need. So anyways, let me go ahead and finish heating this stuff up. Okay, you guys, so I already put a little bit of rice in my bowl because I believe they start with the rice and the beans. Oh, I got my little setup over here, y'all. You see, I got my little, got my chicken. I took the skin off and cut it up. Got my corn, my beans, my cheese, my tomatoes, my lettuce. And my, I'm, I'm ready, y'all, I'm ready. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try and do this and film at the same time. Okay, so this could be disastrous, but we're gonna put some beans. You know, put a little bean, a little, little jump to dump. I like black beans a lot, so honey. I'm gonna put those on there like so. You know, these bowls can get really big like real quick, so I don't wanna put too much. I think, do they put the meat after that? I'm thinking they put the meat. So when I order from Chipotle, I usually get, and this is one chicken thigh that I cut up. It was a pretty big chicken thigh though. I usually get half chicken and half steak, but you know, I ain't got no steak, so. Um, and then I'm going to put a little cheese on top of this so that it can kind of melt a little bit instead of putting it on top of all the cold stuff. I'll go ahead and add, because I don't have any of that like, um, what is it called? Like creme fresh or whatever. Well, not cream fresh. Well, what's that? You know, the wet cheese. Anyway, I ain't got none of that. So we're going to put a little bit of cheese on there like that so that it will melt some. What's next? Corn. I'm real excited about this little roasted corn that I got from the freezer section, honey, because I sure didn't know that I could buy it. Oh no, I guess I just never um, had any recipes that called for, you know, just roasted corn or whatever. So on top of that, let me go ahead and do some of these. It's like tomatoes with green chilies in them. Uh, obviously, it looks like more tomato than green chili, but that's okay. I still like it on my bowl. <clears throat> so, we're just going to just sprinkle a little badinkle of this. Yeah, ooh, I can smell them chilies, though. They definitely in there, child. Okay, so I got that. And then lastly, I guess it's for me to top it off with a little bit of my lettuce. I could have chopped this up a little bit because chow, about to look like a taco salad. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's just me. <clears throat> and then I got my Daisy Light Sour Cream. I already uh, took the little, you know, protective covering off of it. So I'm just going to put me a little dollop right here in the center. Ooh, this stuff is a little thick. Okay, that's enough. Ain't nobody trying to do the most right now. Okay, we are trying to be healthy. 
So, <laughs> this is my little ghetto Chipotle bowl. I mean, the sour cream ain't cute, but <laughs> it's still gonna taste good. Okay, so let me put this stuff up and I'll tell you how it tastes. Okay, you guys, so um, I have my little Chipotle bowl. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty and it just, it looks healthy. It smells healthy. It looks fresh. Oh, that's good and that roasted corn it has like a little bit of sweetness to it i like that like it a lot i feel like with the sour cream i feel like i could taste that it's light mm -hmm. but this is good okay really really good definitely hits the spot don't need to order no Chipotle, okay? Because I got my own right here. I did add just like a little pinch of salt because, you know, rice. Very plain, very bland. And I don't have anything in here that's salty because my chicken is not salty. So everything else in here <clears throat> is kind of bland. So I did have to add just a little pinch of salt. But this is good. I would definitely suggest trying it out. If you never made your own bowl, you might want to do like, um, you know, brown rice or quinoa or cauliflower rice, um, you know, a different type of like salsa, add a little bit of hot sauce on here if you like a kick, um, you know, just like the fajita veggies. Cause I get that whenever I order my Chipotle bowl, I have to remember to order like some bell peppers and stuff so I can cut it up with onions and make like some fajita vegetables and add that to it as well. But honey, this is enough and it is very, very filling. So anyway, just wanted to give y'all an update on one of my healthier meals that your girl is eating, okay? I think I'm doing good too. I haven't had no fast food all week. And usually I have fast food all week. <laughs> so, anyway, very, very good. I'm very satisfied. I don't even think I'm going to eat this whole bowl because this is a lot of food. So, I'm go ahead and finish my dinner. Hopefully, y'all having something delicious for dinner tonight, too. Because I'm loving this, okay? Okay. Is there a video? Yes. <laughs> We're celebrating Brianna's birthday today, and she brought me flowers, okay? It's not a birthday without the first. Well, I did give birth. Yeah. <laughs> so she brought me some lovely flowers. You see how beautiful they are? Gorgeous. Because my flowers are old and need to be replaced. So, <sighs> should I do that now? Mm -hmm. What if I just put these in water? Because I'm hungry. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, anywho, if you guys don't know, this is my daughter, Brianna. <laughs> and we're going to be out spending money today. Yeah. Lots and lots of money today. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to put these in some water and then we're going to hit the road. <laughs> okay. So, we just stuck them in some water so we can get out of here because I'm hungry. <laughs> but they're pretty. Very pretty. Nice colors. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> That's good. Look, me and Bobby supposed to go. Uh, hey, hey, look, I got we, drug into it. Look, me and him supposed to go and go look at his truck, and I'm going to buy a new truck. Then I see Mr. Rinder in there. Mm -hmm. When he get out, he said, hey, did you get you a new truck? Oh, wow. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Do you. I told your mama, do you? Yeah. I'm, I'm terrible uh, uh, at gifts. Okay. <laughs> we have that on video. Okay. He said you can do you. <laughs> All right. We're leaving you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So, you want to explain to the people <laughs> what kind of stress and trauma <laughs> and worry that you are 
about to put me through. Explain to them, to the people, what I, it is that you're trying to do. I bought a trip for myself like a year and a half ago to go to Europe. And then when COVID hit, basically I bought it right at the beginning of COVID. Mm -hmm. And, you know, basically I couldn't go. There was really no way around it where I was working at the time and also when the trip was. Right. There was too much of a worry of me not being able to come back to the quarantine. And my job was like, hey, if you can't come back, you're fired. Nice. So <laughs> I didn't go. I asked them if I could save the trip, and they saved it. They're, anybody who bought a trip during that time, they're, like, saving it indefinitely. But whatever. So she's nervous, as usual, because okay. I'm going by myself. Yes. My only I don't want to wait for somebody to be able to go. My right. only child, my own one, well, not my only child, but <laughs> my only daughter <laughs> is, this son like, and his phone is driving me crazy, okay. My only daughter wants to, to prance around Europe, okay, without me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but seriously, of course, you know, I think any parent you know, would be concerned about their child on a trip by themselves. But she informed me she's not going to be by herself. It is a group trip. Yeah. So that means what? It's a group, but I'm just, I'm not going with anyone because I don't want to wait for someone to be available to go. You know how it is. People say they want to travel, but right. friends, you know, the like schedules aren't really lining up. And I always wanted to go, so I just bought it. And now it's just been sitting there. It's been a year and a half, and COVID so, isn't really slowing down. So what do they do? They plan, like, little excursions and tours and stuff that you go on as a group? Yeah, for each day. So each day they have different things you do. It's supposed to be, I think it's like seven countries in ten days or something like that. Yeah, okay. so each day you'll be most likely in a new country. There's, like, train trips and all types of stuff. Um, I think some of the meals are included. And it's for how long? Um, I think it's for 10 days. 10 days. Okay. Seven and countries in 10 days. I think it's how it was. Yeah. So, okay. I was just glad I could keep it. I mean, yeah, of course. Because, you know, that's uh, something that I would hate to have to lose. Yeah. <coughs> but, yes, I mean, of course, I'm, <laughs> I'm concerned. Okay. Yeah, all right. I've, been, I've, I've gone way worse and came back. <laughs> well, I mean, of course. You yeah. Know, yeah. Being in the military and, you know, I mean, but you still, you know, have that <coughs> protection of be, <coughs> being in the military. Yeah. That's right. <coughs> as opposed to just floating around as a civilian. Yeah. So, anyways. So, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. You know, would you be, you know, really concerned if your daughter of, dang, you're 28 now? Dang, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> if your daughter of 28, you know, a beautiful young lady, is going to be, you know, prancing around another country, you know, that she's never been to before, in a group <laughs> with strange people. There's a tour guide. I'm sure they're very experienced. Well, I need all the names, the details, the <laughs> locations, the phone number and address of the tour guide. I need all of that. All right. All of it. Okay. I'll just text you. Because I only got one daughter and I have no opportunity to make another one. <laughs> okay. I cannot create another one. So, I'm just saying. So, yeah. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below, you know, as far as, you know, or say some things to me to help me to not worry, you know, um, but you, okay, so will you have, like, the ability to, you know, call me, or, you know, me call you, Yeah, or, I'm sure I can use WhatsApp, like, okay, because that's my plan, okay. I'll just use WhatsApp to talk to whoever I need to talk to, so. okay. Yeah, because I need to make sure that... Yeah, you'll know where I am and when I land and all that. Like always, I promise. Okay. I promise. So, 
We are headed to Ontario um, Mills. Ontario Mills ish area. <laughs> I'm hungry. I did have breakfast. I had some oatmeal for breakfast. And it's about 12:30, so it's time for lunch. I am hungry. I had a nap for breakfast. <laughs> seafood good <laughs> that's pretty funny we're on um, the same page yeah i don't know what's around there though some place kind of nice there's but... a market broiler right there at the mall okay yeah or... i did see that i mean there's a red lobster i think in that general yeah, area yeah i saw that too when i was googling i saw some place called lazy dog have you ever been there no no I was heard, a, i've heard it. of it though i think and that's not a seafood place but i was just trying to look and see what was around there right no i've heard of it and i think don't they just make a bunch of different hot dogs and stuff? Oh, I hope not. That's I possible. I mean, with the uh, name. Yeah. I mean, I saw different food. I'm on thinking there, maybe. Well, yeah, maybe they have other stuff. But I know we went to Market Broiler last time we went yeah, out to eat. That's but true. I, I might well, go if we again. had a Red Lobster, then I think they have more options as far as like crab legs and stuff like that. But see, last time I went to Red Lobster, I didn't like it. But that was a long time ago. When was that? years ago i just didn't no 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 didn't we go for father's day yeah with dj yeah we went for father's day it was okay it's just okay just okay yeah i mean sometimes it's just okay but sometimes it's really good yeah it is. so maybe we can go since we're going this is a nice area it'll probably be <laughs> i don't know i truly don't know we'll see what's around there there's some other <laughs> restaurants but i know you didn't want to go to victoria gardens but there's some other restaurants around there is it near Ontario Mills? Mm -hmm. It's not far. Okay. Yeah, I know the restaurants over there are nice. We can go around there. I don't know. What do you think? You driving? There's a claim jumper. Ooh. I like um, claim jumper. Yeah. When we were um, getting off the freeway, was it yesterday or whatever? I was. I saw on the right hand side. There's a claim jumper over off of Foothill. I think. No, I love the claim jumper. I've lived that since I was a kid. I wonder if it's open. I hope it's open. I can Google it. Yeah. Um, it's on Foothill, I think. In, I think that's Rancho Bucamonga where it's at. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah. They're open. Okay. I know where that at. That we can is. go there. I can double check, but I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I finally know what you're talking about when you say stuff, because I've been driving around here long enough. <laughs> I know where Foothill is. You're probably more familiar with the area than I am. I might be, since you, you know. been driving around and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I saw it last night. And I was like, there's a claim jumper. You know, because the one that we used to go to in Corona is closed. Yeah. That one is, I'm pretty <coughs> sure that it's open. Because um, I drive past there all the time. Yep, they're open. Okay, good. Let's go. Good, good, good. Boots that I wear. You look like a Cali girl. <laughs> um, well, I think I ordered these off Amazon. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, we are at claim jumpers. Yeah. About My to get our favorite. <laughs> I remember we, I used to get ribs all the time. Yeah. Do you remember that, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> well, we decided against the seafood for today. Yeah. So. Well, they got it here.
I gotta get my second win. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got a little water. Gotta get my second win. That's all. But yeah, I'm like, shoot, that faucet done kicked in. <laughs> you only ate half of it. I know. Shoot. If that. It was so good. So good. And if you, honestly, if you are able to eat it, it'll be better tomorrow. Because later tonight, you know, she'll go straight. Uh, you can try to go out. Got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look, Papa don't preach, teachers don't teach, gon' reach, that's facts. I ain't worried about none of that. I'm making that cash day. Bunch of O's like NASCAR, but it's really more like NASDAQ. Why they thinking that they hot when they really more like Quarter on me like a referee. Hey, and what they'll never be. Small top with a big bottom. Yeah, shot is shaped like a letter D. Let her have it, then I let her be. If you love it, gotta let it grow. Crazy, cause you really never know. When I'm hurting, never let it show. I'm a two tone, two phone, two chain. New thing, lame. Whip, but you a broke. Low class, no cash, certified lame I'ma get into it like I ought to Couldn't pick, so I bought two Understand why your chick came I'm just trying to figure why she brought you I'm really reppin' and I'm flexed up And I ain't gotta tell them I'm next up Sleep on the they rest up But I'm up and I'm getting my checks up Me and the fellas be high as propellers Ain't like could tell us we great Looking at like how do you figure Unless you been talking about a fix I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get all for me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 
550, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Look how we lit it, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height. I've been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they've been on all night. Sipping this water with somebody, daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it. Came in this game on that today, ain't in a couple years later, we still on it. Be hating on it. Be waiting on it like a new season. I better egg. Oh, I gotta get it. <laughs> Butterfinger flavored popcorn? That does look good. We gotta try it. Yeah, we should. Okay. And they got candy pop. They have some other ones over here. Aaron will probably like that because he like M&M's. You want to get one? For him? Yeah, I'll get that for him. Okay. You got to get one in for yourself. Yes. <laughs> oh, they got Snickers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw them. We can't Oreo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not getting all this stuff. Should I? Which one? Should I try? You Are wanna you get it? Kidding me? I want the Snickers one. Oh, get the Snickers one. Then. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Why not? Whatever. <laughs> it's the best day of the year. <laughs> Gone. I put some paper on it like I'm loose leafing. Buying them assets. Build me a cash net. I could fall in. Look at my last bit. Ain't got a tiptoe. I'm all in. Think on a the level that can't fail. And I roll me a J with the hate mail. Been doing good on the merch sale. All this bread on me look like a bake sale. Tell her what's really good. I'll be really good on a jaw jack. Send an email about the bread. I'ma hit you back with the call back. I'm too cool for the rules, baby. Get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me. Drop 50, bring 150 right back to me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be. Yeah, those are cute. I've never seen one with the heel like that, though. Cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, these are great. No, those are cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn to the side. Yeah. Yeah, those are cute. Very cute. <laughs> are you taking a picture or video? No, I'm videoing. Oh, okay. Because I know I'll cook with mint and basil. Okay, and what is this? That's like just flowers. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I want. I think I'll just get Boom.
Have you tried the L'Oreal Infallible? No, the foundation. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's too dark. Mm -hmm. Do I look crazy? No. <laughs> it's orangey. That's what I said. You're so light. Oh, it's just my undertone. Okay. <laughs> this one may be. I don't know. You know I can't see. But this one actually may be. Here. Hold that. Let me see a mirror. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything in between with the other one? But I think you're right. No. That's it. Okay. You want to try that one? Yeah, it looks light. Yeah, I know. That's what I told you. Yeah. But and but it'll probably oxidize. Like I was saying, that thing that always happens to me. I don't know, like, but when I go out, it, it's a little bit dark. If not, you can probably bring it back. Yeah. All right. To where you went? I went to Victoria's Secret and Pink by Victoria's Secret. Went to Forever Twenty One, a place called what's the candy place called? Oh, you know what? I don't even know. It's like a sugary candy shop. I don't even know where that bag is. is the it most over there? damage I think I did was at Target. <laughs> I, I love uh, Target. Yeah. She did the most damage at Target. I Hello. I Target. I think they have cute clothes. And I knew I couldn't find shirts anywhere in Victoria Garden, so I knew Target would have shirts. You know, but we went to Journeys. Yeah. We I don't even know Kiehl's. where. Oh, this is the candy place. Yeah, it's sugar. It's sugar. Okay, All so. Right. But yeah, it's sugar. That's basically it. Yeah, but she did some damage, y'all. As y'all can see, she's uh, had a very, very, very happy birthday. Okay. Well, how do I get started? Okay. Right. She just gonna go through everything, show you what she got. Plus, and if something is mine, she just gonna hand it. Yeah, it. Show it and hand it. Yeah. Okay, so we went to Lush, which my mom was not impressed with. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never been there before. I always see it online. People go there a lot. They have like natural products and they have some things I wanted to try. Yeah, I mean, it's just not my vibe. I know a lot of people love Lush. Um, all that shopping is exhausting, y'all. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people love Lush, but I, um, you want to show the people what you got? Yeah, I'm going to show them. I'll but I, um, I don't know. It's just. Something yeah. about the little handmade soaps and stuff. It yeah. just don't float my boat. But it wasn't super exciting, but yeah. I definitely, I always wanted to try because I always see it. Um, it smells good in there, though. Yeah, this is a, comes in a little bag like this. It's a um, shower oil bar. So after you bathe, you rub this on your body, and it's basically like a shower moisturizer or like shower lotion. If you use like body oils and stuff in the shower like I do, this one would be pretty good. This one is uh, it's the coconut one or um, cocoa butter one. It smells like it smells cocoa, cocoa butter, butter. Mm -hmm. like slightly sweeter. But um, I asked him about how to store this stuff. Um, and he said, as far as this goes, you can just store it in the bag, like under your sink and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, but we'll see. Maybe you can just put it in a little Tupperware container. Yeah, or maybe like a plastic bag or something. Yeah. But, I'm gonna need yeah. you to <laughs> this video will be forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm yapping. I don't know what, what she just you wanna know. Like, but yeah. just show is... it. Just tell them what it is and show it to Okay, them. this is a lip scrub. <laughs> a mint lip scrub. Mm -hmm. And then these two are both just soaps. One of them is peppermint. And the other one was a lemon zest one. They just come wrapped up like that. Can I see? Oh, that smells good. Yeah, that's the one. And then we smell this one already. But when I was in a store, everything just started smelling like yeah, the same. It's hard thing. when so you're in like, a store like everything that. Everything smells the same. Yeah. So it smells good. And then this is just a face and body scrub that we tried in the store. And we liked it. Yeah, oh, it made her soft. hand super soft. Yeah. So got that. And that's all I did at Lush. Um, I guess I'll start with the Victoria's Secret. This one is my mom's, but it's super comfy. I might steal it. Not. <laughs> or like next year when she needs room in her closet, I'll have it. It was so cute, you guys. I had to have it. 
It's just like this, fluffy. And then on the back, it has the VS on there. I don't know if you guys would be able to oh, see yeah, it. Oh, yeah, they can see it. But it has the VS for Victoria's Secret. It's so cute. Yeah. So it's definitely something, you it's know. thick and comfy. It has a hood that I would just throw on, you know, with some jeans or something. And, you know, just she like a this mask night. for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Really? For no reason? She really? Mask. Yeah, I well, know. Well, I but... thought it ha would have Victoria's Secret on it, and it didn't. I, yeah, I just wanted to try one of their masks. This is a plain black mask. Yeah. Nothing fancy. And they give you a lot of paper. But the cute bag is cute. The bag's cute. I'm going to keep Are the you, bag. Both of them? Like, no, I don't need You can have that Thank one. you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the bag. Isn't this so cute? Mm -hmm. I'm keeping this one. You want the receipt? Yes. Well, you might need to keep it, honestly. Oh, yeah, for returns. Um, we both got this perfume. Very sexy orchid. Oh, it smells so good. It smell, it's really hard to explain. It smells kind of dark. It smells good. It smells really good. Dark and floral. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of lotions. Like lavender, vanilla. This one's yours, right? Mm-hmm. And then we each got Velvet Petals Untamed because it smelled really good. We just both really liked oh, it. Oh, yeah, that smells amazing. Yeah, it smells good. So we each got both. Mm. They were having like a deal. So you know how they try and get you. She got the better end of the deal. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure she got some extra stuff in there. I did. I did. Oh, this is yours. The yeah. lavender vanilla. So I got the spray, the shower gel, and the lotion. For that. Oh, yeah, and that's yours, too. This is the lotion. Can they see? Is that the lotion? No, that's the shower gel. Oh, we already showed the lotion. No, it's a body wash. So it's a body wash. Really pretty. Really pretty. And then I got Love Spell, too, just simply because they said we had another one that was free. Yeah. So I grabbed it. And then this pomegranate lotus lotion. It just smelled really good. And I like lotions. So that's basically it for that. Y'all, let me show you what this perfume bottle looks like. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. It's so freaking pretty. That's what it looks like. If you can see that, that is so pretty. And child, mm -hmm. it smells so good. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Yeah. What you else want you mine? No, you can have Coupon. it. Coupon. I don't really know if I'll go, but... Oh, let me smell it. Yeah, it's real nice. Yeah, and it's That's good. one where you'll want to walk past people and they'll smell it. Woo! Smells good. Smells good. Smells good. Pink, which I kind of freaked out a little bit when I went to Victoria's Secret because I was like, where's pink? But <laughs> there's separate stores sometimes. Yeah. So. Out at Victoria Gardens is weird because mm -hmm. they have like two Macy's. Yeah. The pink and the Victoria's Secret is totally separate stores. So, yeah. It's just a little different. That's all. These slides I thought were cute. I, um... I'm working from home now. Those are cute. So I've been buying like comfy stuff to wear or I was planning on looking for comfy things to wear as well as decent things to wear. I got socks for the same reason and also like where have my socks been going? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's been eating my socks. This is my mom's. It's cute. Oh yeah. I was going to get one like it but I talked myself out of it. I went sweat like sweatshirt crazy in yeah. there. I don't this, know why. It has a cowl. Cowl yeah, so instead not, of a hood. Mm -hmm. But it's cute. I really like this color. I thought it was cute. And it just says pink on it. This one, she got this one too. I thought you were going to get the pink one, Mom. I did. Oh. <laughs> you just haven't gotten it. Same yet. neck. Mm -hmm. In black. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. I love wearing sweatshirts. Like when I'm just running out the house to go do something. Yeah. At night when it's a little chilly. Me too. Same. Well, I show these. They're mm -hmm. just socks. Yeah. Um, next bag here. This is the one that had. This is probably my stuff, quite honestly. Mostly your stuff? Yeah, because here's the pink one. Oh no, my shirts are in here. Okay. I, I, I remember I that. pink shirt. one. So oh, that's the cutest on one, I think. You think so? I like the one that was cute pink on it. Says pink. Yeah. <laughs> and this is cute too, but I like the pink one better. Yeah. That's why I got this gray one too. Nice sweaters. Mm hmm. I love sweatshirts. Yeah. I'm running out of room in my closet, quite honestly, but <laughs> your girl loves a good sweatshirt. <laughs> I got a few of these shirts. Again, they're kind of for around the house, but of course I can wear them out too. They're That's just, cute. It's cute. Here, and hold the back. So they can see it. 
Oh, yeah, there it goes. And then the back is open. It has a little teardrop-shaped opening. Oh, sexy. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Mm -hmm. and I got this shirt in pink, and then I think I got a... Well, let me not guess. You put it back. You oh, yeah, I did. I didn't want it. She put it shirt back. Yeah. <laughs> I did get this one, though. I was trying to choose between a hoodie and a long sleeve shirt. They can't see the writing on the top. Oh, they can't? Oh, yeah, pink. They can't. Yeah, it's cute. See? It's cute and it's larger. Come Long me. sleeve. Yeah. She's a flower child at heart. Now, I don't know where <laughs> she get that from. She did it for me. <laughs> oh, those are cute. Yeah, these are just little lounge shorts. Mm -hmm. That's all. And this one will go cute with the shirt. Yeah, those are cute. Mm -hmm. And I got a black pair as well. That has this is really cute. Oh, those are really cute. Yeah, it's a little yeah. rainbow. Uh huh. That's cute. Mm -hmm. And they're high waisted. Really yeah. Useful. Mm -hmm. Useful. 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 Okay. It's sugar. We kind of went. <laughs> we weren't even really gonna go in there, but then when we went in, we saw something that looked amazing. All we got in there was popcorn. I about passed out, y'all. My diet just went out the window. <laughs> these Look are, at these popcorn. They're like. Candy. This one is Oreo. That one is Snicker. And mm -hmm. I've never seen these before, you guys. <coughs> this one is M Ms. I got that one for Aaron because he loves M Ms. And um, we what else each got. Doing? This is the one you were most excited about. Which one? Oh, the butter, butter finger. finger. It's gonna be good. That, yeah, I saw that one. I was like, popcorn. So yeah. it's gonna be great. Yeah, I'll have to just eat a few little kernels at a time. Oh, yeah. So that. <laughs> That is what we got from there. What is that? Oh, that's the Snicker one? Yeah, this is yours. This is yours and the Butterfinger one. You want to keep them? I'm going to tell my business. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to eat them all at once. Yeah, no. But if you need the butter. You know, you can keep it if you need it. So I'm just going to throw these in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I'll show these shoes. So we went to two different shoe places. She went shoe crazy, y'all. Okay. I did. I needed some shoes. Like, did you though? No, but <laughs> I sure did enjoy. When you see these shoes, you're gonna be like, oh, she needed those. Yeah. She needed those. Hey, these ones I did need. Super cute. Look these at these are, shoes, you guys. Man, and the camera's not doing them justice at all. It is it's just look, Yeah. Look at these shoes, y'all. <laughs> Look at the detail. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's like fuzzy wuzzy on there. You got the pink on the top, the blue yeah. on the side, the neon green with this big, thick heel. Yeah. I love the Look chunky. how cute those are. They're real cute. Ciao. Yeah. Those are cute. <laughs> yeah, and she needed those, yeah. right? I did. <laughs> I needed them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, another trend that I've been seeing going around, and I had basically put these on my list, like I'm going to get them at some point, and it just so happened to be we're shopping today. So I kind of hunted for them. Platform, again, but these are our Converse. Chucks. Yeah, and I just really like how they look. They're uh, standard. They look cute. basically basic, but I do like that the heel... It's just a little bit chunkier. Yeah. It just looks cool. They're cute. They look really cute on too. You guys will you guys will see in the video. Mm hmm Um. Oh yeah, I tried them on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're cute. They're pretty cute. They almost didn't have the right size for me. And these are slightly big, but I think with socks it'll work. Yeah. Very cute. Um, these ones from Champs. I think these are yours. But they were really cute. I almost got them. You want to tell them what you oh, did? Oh, yeah. I almost didn't even get her shoes. No, I was supposed to buy. She, she did. She forgot I, to buy my shoes. <laughs> I go up to pay for my shoes, and I was supposed to pay for hers, too. They yeah, were. Just forgot. She bought her shoes, came back with her little bags. She was like, did you get my I shoes? I was like, no. Because <laughs> we had all these bags, so I'm yeah. sitting on the bench waiting for her so we're not dragging all these bags around. <laughs> And, you know, I just give her my card, you know, go buy. Yeah. You go buy your shoes. And the lady had already took my shoes to the counter. We were there for so long because they took forever to find my other Puma. And I wasn't leaving without that other shoe. <laughs> so I was like, take your time, find it. And then I totally forgot about my mom's shoe. Yeah, I totally yeah. forgot I had to go send her back to go get my shoes. But anyway, 
I just got some basic Pumas. They're black cute. On black. I almost got these ones too, but I already have some like black shoes. Uh -huh. I love shoes. them. I don't know what I, what it is about Pumas. I mm -hmm. love Pumas. So. These look really great. Mm -hmm. And I cute. was telling her these are the men's ones for whatever reason. The I like men's, men's ones. Yeah, they look better. The women's ones they take a lot of the heel off, mm -hmm. and it just looks kind of awkward to me. Yeah. But this I is like a nice shoe. Black on black. Yeah. So those are mine. They had this Haribo, Haribo collection, which Puma, they have um, a collection with Haribo gummy bears and they make all different types of colors that were pretty cute. I almost got some, but it's kind of hard to coordinate those colors. I should have just I mean, got them. Yeah, you just... They're cute, though. They just make the statement with your outfit. I you know? really like... That's Yeah, that's supposed to be the point. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like those Pumas. Those aren't going to match with anything. Yeah. And I don't care. <laughs> exactly. But... Yeah, they had some bright green Haribo Pumas that were really cute. So these she got from Journey. Oh yeah, I got I went to Journey specifically looking for these shoes and I found them. Mm -hmm. Again, platform, but these are very different. If you look close, did you see that mom? There's like a check pattern. Oh. Yeah, you gotta show it up. Show it up close, turn it to the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you can, can see, see it on the it. back, too. There's, like, a check pattern there. Yeah, you can see it on the back. It's pretty unique. It's different than the ones I've been seeing. And I like... It's just a platform. Mm hmm it has this little rubberized part on the bottom. Those are cute. They're really cute. Um, this is my first pair of high tops I've ever owned, too. I always wanted a pair of high top bands. So these are pretty cool. Mm hmm Yeah. They'll look really cute, too, when you lace them up. Yep. They're gonna look really cute. Yeah. They... I tried these on, too. <laughs> Okay, they heavy. Them, they're heavy. They're, they feel like boots. It's a weapon. They're real cute. I love them. I'm going to wear them with everything. Almost everything. <laughs> but yeah, those were very cute. Oh, I like those a lot. I'm saving Target for a lot. I was going to say, we still haven't even hit the Target bag yeah. yet. So this is Forever 21. She and I both got some stuff from there. I think a lot of this one. Oh yeah, heels. We'll get to that. But this is my mom. Heels doesn't expensive. Yeah, heels. I got a lot of heels. This is like a little like um, crossbody mm -hmm. bag. Crossbody bag. It's cute. That's my mom. Know, but sometimes I just like just a little crossbody to throw on when I'm just you know don't really want to carry a purse mm -hmm. but I need to take something. So yeah. got this from Forever Twenty One. How much was it? I don't, know. I don't even know, honey. Probably not too much. No. Oh, oh. see no price on here. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, got For, that. Forever Twenty One has a collection with Everlast right now, and she bought a mm -hmm. bought me a fanny pack fanny to pack. wear when I go on my walks. So I can just throw my phone and my keys and stuff in there. When I, was, I thought it was cute. It's kind of like a cushiony material. Yeah. These came in handy when I was working at Amazon. Because okay. you can't have a backpack or anything, but if you're a girl and you need to have some stuff, you can have, you can have like a clear fanny pack. Okay. Yeah, so this is cute. You okay. got that. Cute little bag. Oh, you ended up buying this. I did. I bought that. It was so cute. I just couldn't resist it. I was like, oh, that is too cute. It is really cute. I mean, you guys, did you see this? Did you see the, <coughs> this, the strap in yeah. there? I mean, I figured it was a strap in there, you know. The only thing I don't like is, you know, oh, that's how you open it? Yeah, I think you gotta squeeze it together or whatever. And I mean, it's pretty thin. I'm not gonna be able to fit a whole lot of stuff in there, yeah. but small it's purses cute. are in right now. It's really cute. Yeah, and it has a, I don't wanna unwrap it. <coughs> it has a handle. <coughs> but it's super cute. I couldn't resist it. I went back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, that's so cute. I want it, so I got it. Okay. And then this is all your jewelry. No, oh, okay. You want me to? No, yeah, I mean, I'm afraid. If, is this everything? Did she put it in right? Well, oh yeah. She, did she put oh. them separately? Yeah, yeah. I got did. some big, you know, silver hoops. So different shapes. There's some like squares or diamonds and just regular hoops and silver. I can never have too many hoops, honey. I love hoops. She got a necklace here. This is a K necklace. It's pretty. Oh yeah, a little golden K. Can you see that? I don't know. Yeah, but it's just a, little, a really pretty gold K. Okay? Let's see it like that. Okay. <laughs> she
she gonna make me edit this video, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I'm taking too long. <laughs> she gonna slow it all the way. Is oh, a butterfly. butterfly. One. It's really yeah. pretty. Got that. Oh, that's pretty. Can y'all see the butterfly? It's pretty. Forever 21, like their cute little necklaces and stuff. They have so many, um, you know, really Ooh. cute like one, two time wear um, necklaces. Yeah, I thought those were cute. They're a little different. They're mm -hmm. butterflies and they're dangly. So you see that? They dangle. This is a bow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so got those. These are, I hope these look cute on me. Maybe with an updo or something yeah. pulled back a bit. Really cute. And then I got some socks specifically to go with the shoes I got. Oh, this is my mom's though. What's that? Um, I think it's, uh, oh yeah, these are the ones I saw. Some pretty gold hoops. They look like, what do they, do they look like a chain or something? Yeah, they're chain, they're like human link style hoops or chain link hoops. And hey, okay, so I got these socks. I knew, <coughs> I knew, <coughs> sorry, it's okay. I knew <laughs> that they would look good with the uh, high tops, like these socks with the little, it's just cute. <laughs> and then <coughs> she, she, who you she thought I was <laughs> crazy for these socks, but they're going to look cool with my new child. shoes. Flower child, for real. They're see-through, but they have all the little. Now what you going to do with some see-through socks? I mean, it's just for the look for the shoe. So you probably put some socks underneath them, <laughs> you know, and then because it just peaks <coughs> above the top. Okay. That's my plan. Nope. We'll see if it works out. Nope. Okay. We'll see. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure this bag is mostly me. Pretty sure. <coughs> hey, Excuse these me. are like high-waisted wide leg pants. They're wide like that. They go all Super the way wide. up. Yeah. But they're high waisted. They they're come cute. up about here. They look <clears throat> great. Not too much. Go with everything kind of thing. Just something a little different than my normal pants that I have. I don't know if they go with everything. Go with a lot of the stuff I have, I guess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> different kind of stuff. They go with some stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Goes with a lot of the things I bought today. A little sign. Sa sa Okay, I got another jacket similar to this at oh, Target, but oh, yeah, it was no different. Why it looked familiar. It, that one's longer and it's a bright pink, but this is pretty cute. It's by Corduroy. Yeah, it's real. Oh, it's cute. It is cute. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Maybe you can wear it with those little daisy socks. Yeah, and it's pretty, pretty good. You know, like not super cheap. Like I can wear oh, yeah. this if I'm cold. Mm -hmm. Not just for the look. Mm -hmm. Who that? Yeah. I got these jeans. They kind of wear like joggers because they have this elastic, elastic waist. waistband and elastic at the bottom as well, but they really are denim. Like they kind of look like the <coughs> you know the carpenter pants. They have this too. Mm -hmm, with the pockets on the sides and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little comfy, something a little different. I'm getting bored of my pants. <laughs> Those are cute. Mm -hmm. And this hat, which I have a jacket for that I just recently bought. You have a jacket like that? Yeah, but it's not with the flowers. It's just a black fuzzy jacket. <laughs> oh, so I'm like, <laughs> this will match and also I can wear it with other stuff. Okay. Is that copyright? Oh, it's cute. Yeah. Does it fit? I mean, is that how it's supposed to go? Oh, yeah. It fits. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to pull it, get makeup on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's cute. Little daisy hat. Mm hmm Yeah, it's cute. Okay. But, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this is from Kiehl's. I really like skincare. My mom knows I like, I like eye creams and things like that. She has rated my skincare drawer more times than I can count. Yeah. I like it. And it can get so expensive. So it's like, why not just... And she done got used to the good stuff. Because you know how I get all the expensive good stuff in my boxes yarn. And she doesn't <laughs> use it. So now, but now she thinks she's supposed to get it. Yeah. In, you know, 
Shoot, that but, stuff was like yeah, Kiehl's, a lot. Kiehl's overnight rehydrating mask. They can't see. Yeah, they can oh. just put it right there and hold it. There you go. Yep. Um, that has squalane in it. You're supposed to put it on at night. It's like a thin oil layer. These are toners. Toner is my favorite. Toner and eye products. And this is a, let me take it out of the box real quick. That's a toner too? Yes. Well, this is an essence. Yeah. But this is a toner. It even looks great. It's got, ooh. Yeah. Fancy. Smells great. All natural. It's like a more of a calming toner. You could do it like after you do masks and things like that. Or at least that's what I'm planning on doing. Very nice. Comes in a box like that. Real nice, fancy. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, never, I'm new here. Um, this is a <coughs> activating treatment essence. I like essences a lot. I have one from 112 Skin that I really like that I got from her. And I wanted to try this one. And Kiehl's. Kiehl's just has great stuff. I figured why not try it. Mm. Face mist. I really like face mists. Oh, that's a face mist? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they can't see that. They can not see it. They can see it. Okay. Tibetan ginseng. I mean, if you hold it still, they can see it. <laughs> it's because I can't even see it. So I'm like, it's so bright. They can see it. This is a super multi-corrective eye-opening serum. I'm trying to get something to get rid of bags under your eyes. A lot of times they ask stuff for dark circles. I don't really have that problem. I get bags. And so I feel it's harder to find stuff with, you know, to firm up those bags underneath. Mm -hmm. But this one seemed to do a pretty good job when I tested it on my hand. A cold spoon. I guess that too. But you'd have to remember to put one in the freezer. And I never do. True. Oh, and then it came with like a free gift. A free little kit that has um, another face mask, some cream, and uh, some serum. Uh, daily microdose serum. So it was just like a little free gift they gave. So, it came in a cute bag. <laughs> it's free after you spend three other dollars. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> On a face mask and some eye cream. Yeah, this was really a lot. Like, thanks, mom. You're welcome. Really, you're welcome, child. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into Target. I got this belt, which actually matches the hat. I hadn't really realized that until just recently, <laughs> but it's cute. I just wanted a D-ring belt or a belt that's kind of like that, more adjustable. Mm -hmm. It's pretty long. It's cute, and it's cute. It's like a pop of something different. Mm -hmm. Um, some pants. They're, these are just some standard. I've been liking baggier pants. They're more comfortable. Mm -hmm. They're kind of in style and in season. Mm -hmm. So they're, they look better on, obviously. Show them the top. That's the top of them. Kind of wide, but nothing a belt won't fix in the back. And I really wanted looser fitting pants. I just find them more comfortable. And it's cute with a cute t-shirt or something. Mm -hmm. Look better on, trust me. <laughs> I got similar pants to that, but these are black with white trim, which I know they're going to match my shoes. This is kind of why I had to have them. Oh, okay. But these are slightly different. She definitely has her own style, child. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I always think about it when I ask my mom, I'm like, is this cute? But she and I dress pretty differently. Mm -hmm. Put things together differently. Oh, this one I don't think she liked, but I'm going to make it work. <laughs> Very different kind of shirt, but I just liked. Oh, it's cute. I immediately think of Scooby Doo. I like Hold that. It close so they can see the pattern. <laughs> the pattern. It's just flowers <coughs> with like a check yeah, lined sure. design. Scooby Doo. It's collared. Where are you? And it's pretty tailored if you look towards the bottom. <laughs> It's like we tapered need in. Some help from you now. I got some green pants that kind of match you. We can little. count on you, Scooby Doo. You gonna wear that together, child? No, I'm not. <laughs> I just happen to like these pants. I'm not gonna wear that together and scare everybody. But these pants are pretty cute. 
pop a color, wear them with probably any shirt. You know we got a mystery to solve, so Scooby Doo be ready for your act. <laughs> don't hold back. It's before my time. I don't know that. I don't know the. I don't know. You don't know that song. song. I know you're singing Scooby Doo though. This is cute. I'm glad I got it. You did. I almost didn't get it because because she was like, mm. that's something Shaggy would wear. This is just a. Oh, I like this um, artist. This? No, that's cute. It's like a yeah, cropped sweater. But I thought the art was really nice. I like this artwork. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Work. Yeah, and I like it a lot. So that's cute. Like I said, I knew I'd find cute tops at Target. Then I would baby sweater. Yeah, it's like a cropped kind of thing. But since a lot of my pants are high waisted, this is a cute ACDC shirt. It's cute. It's just cute. Do you listen to ACDC? I know uh, this one song <laughs> called Highway to Hell. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess. Okay. This is cute. It's just a sweater. That, that is I cute. thought was nice. That's cute. Cute little kind of like a baby doll 90s sort of sweater. Mm -hmm. Cute, cute, cute. Um, oh, we got some foundation that'll hopefully, hopefully match, match me. Yeah. Because the one I'm wearing is slightly darker, <laughs> if you notice. And oh yeah, it certainly blends. Mm. Yeah, I think I picked a good color. That's yeah. the well, Maybelline Infallible. Maybelline Infallible 24-hour wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is the only makeup that we purchased all day. Oh, yeah, we didn't buy any makeup. No, ma'am. We did great, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> and this is the one that's kind of similar to that in terms of how it looks. But it's, it's definitely longer, and it's, like, lighter and brighter. Mm-hmm. Different color. Just good for the season. What season? Uh, whatever it is. <laughs> Cause right now it's like cold sometimes. Not it is California winter. Right. Today was like seventy, mm. but a little windy. It's been windy lately. Yeah, that's true. It has been. And so over shirts like that come in handy to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. All right, I gotta hurry up. I'm not good at this filming thing. <laughs> okay. I showed the green pants. Mm -hmm. And, oh yeah, I got this cute little set that made me think about my slides I got at Pink. <laughs> it's just sweats. It's just really comfy. And again, I'm working from home. But also, if I wanted to wear this together to go run an errand real quick, I won't look super crazy. It's lavender and yeah. it's um, like ribbed. It's very, Slightly very ribbed. soft. Mm -hmm. Comfy. And yeah, soft. it's cute. I'm sure it'll look really cute on. Yeah. Nice and fluffy and warm and cute. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, this shirt's cute. Um, Target has this brand called Wild Fable, and that's basically why I go to Target for clothes. I like that brand. Yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff looks really cute on her. Yeah. You know, with the little high waisted jeans. Mm -hmm. It's cute. cute. It's a nice pattern. Like a little peasant. Yeah, Top. I have a shirt like this already. I have a few shirts from Target that are similar to this, and they always work. Mm -hmm. If you want to look done up, this is my mom's shirt. See that, y'all? You know, at Target, um, you guys will see in the clip, but they um, have different, <clears throat> highlighted different um, black-owned brands and stuff for Black History Month. <clears throat> and so you can find, you know, different clothing items. Um, I saw a journal, some books, calendars, just all kind of stuff. So this just says melanated on it, black t-shirt. I should have got this shirt. This uh, is cute. I don't see isn't that. it? Mm -hmm. This is my mom's. I got this. Says I got this. That's mm -hmm. cute. So a little t-shirt from Target. Mm -hmm. This is cute too. Just says lucky. Lucky. Real comfy. My mom has so many t-shirts though. Where are you going to put these t-shirts? Uh, I don't know. But I wear t-shirts all the time, so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is yours too. Ooh, it feels soft. Are these pants? Yeah, they are. They're I'm, soft. They were just hanging like for clearance or whatever. And this is something I just throw on to hang around the house. It's like a tan, um, 
camouflage, you know, sweats. Mm -hmm. So I just got these. They got them real really big, soft. so they'd be nice and comfy. Comfy. We are so almost done, believe it or not. Good. All right. Just, uh, I think the rest is yours. <laughs> we won't show all that. But, <laughs> these slippers. Oh, they were so cute. They were cute. I wish I had seen these. <laughs> really, really so cute. So cute and so fuzzy. I mean, I know these are popular, you know. You can find them all over the place. They're only 10 bucks. Yeah. Different colors. I like both the colors. Super fuzzy. And then I got, they had in the little clearance section, some little plants. I don't know how well they're going to do being $3. But I always wanted to grow some of my own herbs since I've been cooking more lately. So this is mint. Again, it was only like $3 in the clearance section at Target. Basil. And then this was just lavender. So we'll see, because I've never grown anything before. So I guess you just add water. Yeah. And sunshine. Yeah, we'll see if that works out for me. Yeah, okay. And then I got a tea kettle. I don't know if they care about that. That's it. Yeah. You want to see my electric tea kettle? Did I buy some jewelry from Target? Oh, did I miss it? I don't know, but... Did you? I did. Oh, here it is. It's on the side where... Yeah, you... she tried to keep my jewelry from Target. I didn't want to show them your tampon. <laughs> So I was trying not to go too deep in that bag. Okay. These are my mom's earrings. They're pretty. She always got hoops. Always got the hoops, honey. Pretty good hoops. The hoops she boops. <laughs> you just bought another pair similar to these. But those are smaller. <laughs> those are a little smaller. It's a different link. It is. Pattern. Thank you very much. Oh, these are cute. Yeah, those are pretty. Those are like, you know, the heavier, mm -hmm. thicker golden hoop yeah and then i bought a got a tea kettle i wanted a red tea tea teapot but they didn't have one so i just got this electric one which i've had electric ones before they come in handy i've been drinking a lot of tea and i've just been boiling it in a pot of water because i keep forgetting to buy a tea kettle i mean it works right yes it works <laughs> but you know <laughs> Not exactly how you make tea, <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> so that is it. Yeah, that's Literally. it, y'all. That's all. So hopefully you had a nice, happy... I really did. Thank 28th you. birthday shop in the I spring. I had a great birthday, really, <laughs> truly. <laughs> this yeah. was so out of the norm, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It was really, really great, and I appreciated spending the time with you. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. I mm -hmm. mean, but we always do, though, when we hang out, so. We got tired, though. It, like, something kicked our butts. <laughs> we couldn't figure out if it was the food or mm -hmm. just too many people. We were only walking around for maybe three hours. Yeah. And yes. it wasn't, we didn't even, we don't even feel like we really did that much damage. No, not really. Like, like it doesn't feel that way, but. Yeah, I'm ready to take a nap. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyways, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, yep. and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>